How's it going guys? Eric here with OneHive 2.0, bringing you another war recap to OneHive Labs. Today we're going to go a little bit unconventional and we're going to have uh, one of our other members who is a producer for OneHive Labs talk in here with us in the commentary. So let's go ahead and give a shout out to Clickety Clack and let him start up his intro. Hey guys, Clickety Clack here. One of the newer guys at 2.0, been having a blast. Gonna start out uh, commentating for you guys on some new videos. Just we've been doing great things over here at 2.0, and I'm just glad to share. All right, well, let's get into this war recap. This tour we matched up with Reddit Lithium. Main difference was 27 three stars to nine three stars. End score was 86 to 62. We pretty much cleaned up all the way on the bottom. Everyone just showed up this war. And just, you know, just a great effort all together. One of the better attacks was uh, by Ito. He went in with a giant healer hog. He actually yeah, uses some hogs here on the side to widen his funnel to make sure that King goes into the core, which is always which is actually a really good trade. And a lot of times worth it, you know, the extra troop space. Yeah, it gets that huge funnel for sure. Yeah, rages those giants right onto that air defense, gets it out of the way quick, and still has plenty of healers left. And then starts his hog deployment at 12 o'clock. His, his his giants create like a nice U shape in the core just for his hogs to have a nice path. Yeah, he does a great job getting his his rage spell right in the middle too, where his heroes are both meeting it and. He ended up taking out a lot just with his and initial kill squad. Yeah, and with that king just ta constantly tanking that expo because those healers are just healing him while, you know, those hogs just go around. Perfect. Yeah, he ends up having still, it's 52% here destroyed and he doesn't even need the queen ability yet. <laughs> uh, queen ability yet. Yeah, I really don't like these dragonflower bases. You know, I think they're, you know... Maybe more effective at Town Hall 10, but at Town Hall 9, they're just not, not that great. Yeah, especially when you can have a giant healer hog like this and just completely have your kill squad almost live the entire time. If, his, if those healers would have been on the queen there, they would have made it for sure the whole time. Yeah, well, great scouting by Ido. You know, not a conventional attack we see a lot here, but, you know, great job on this one. Yeah, and on stream, we had this we had this war streamed, and a lot of people were really wanted to see this attack over and over. This is one they were really asking for. Yeah, epic attack. I mean, it's... Yeah, absolutely. Great job, Ito. Um, what we're going to be looking at next is my attack, actually. On there, I believe it was either 12 or 10. Yeah, 12. Uh, I just went with a pretty standard Goho. Uh, three Golem Goho, I believe. Yeah. And... I really just liked the three golems for this base just because I saw an opportunity to keep my golems alive. Most of the, well, my whole, no, my whole kill squad really, like some, that they could be alive for pretty much the whole raid, get both heroes and I believe, oh yeah, and one set of uh, giant double giant bombs. And I knew that the back end ones wouldn't be as much of a problem. I actually got incredibly lucky on this raid. Well, at the bottom there, you can kind of see that there was a Tesla, and I was had no clue that was there. This was the first attack. And I didn't even really know it was there, to be honest, until almost the end. But right here, I get incredibly lucky. And the Wiz Tower there should have taken out. If it was a level 7 Wiz Tower, I would have failed there with the Wall Breakers. So I got to definitely give a little shout-out to those guys for not dying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they definitely yeah. took one for the team. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but... I get my king in there really nice and late. I was a little bit scared, to be honest, that I was going to lose him to that right gold mine, which I had no clue why I wasn't going down at the time. I didn't even realize that that Tesla was there, so that was pretty bad of me, to be honest. But yeah, I get a, I let my king really survive most of the raid, and well, at least a really good part of the kill squad, and I'm able to take out the king and queen pretty early, which was huge for me. And then I just kind of start doing a surgical hog, just going clockwise. And I had two heals here, and it was just a lot of heals for the, the base that was there, so I got pretty good with that. Um, and then there's a double giant bomb up there on the top side. Ended up taking it out with more hogs than I was honestly hoping, 
but it ended up not being that big of a deal, obviously. Those, I guess, three or four hogs up there I ended up losing. And Teslas were in places where I wasn't exactly expecting them either. But for the most part, I did... I mean, most of the things were where I wanted them. My queen ended up lasting the whole time. Never even honestly got hit. That was really nice for, I guess, Probability. Me. Yeah, absolutely. Having the ability at the end, I didn't need to use it on any defenses. But if I would have needed to, it would have been nice. Ended up being fairly close, I think, at the end, but yeah, that Tesla down there is the one that I did not see until right now about, to be honest. But yeah, great. I mean, I thought it was a good attack. It all went mostly as planned. Good but thing yeah. you didn't see that Tesla, because that's the right way to go about it in a raid like this, is just ignore it until the end and let the hogs take care of it. Yeah, that was the first thing that I jumped back on TeamSpeak afterwards, and they're like, oh, thank God you didn't see that Tesla, because I told them, and I would have probably messed myself up a little bit. Yeah, I'll go ahead and, uh, and talk about this attack, Clack. Well, this is a, a Go Valk, well, Go Val Ho by Dizzle. He's been really finding ways to Valk bases that usually I could never even scout for a Valk attack, and just been doing a great job at executing these attacks. One of a one of our better Valk attackers, definitely. Yeah, and it's been interesting Starts having a lot of the Valk attackers come in to really get a different point of view on some of the stuff. Yeah, definitely nice and refreshing for the attacks, you know, and definitely more base layouts. We can get more attackers attacking different kind of base layouts. Definitely having a Valk arsenal, you know, is definitely helpful in wars for Town Hall Nine. Yeah, and it was something I never really saw a lot of before I came to One Hive uh, Two Point to be honest. Yeah, I see a lot of people, uh, you know, ignoring their Valks, and then, you know, just not, you know, having them level 1. Yeah, and as you can see, all the way he started to lose all his Valks, and that's why yeah. it was recommended that we do this. He recovered this raid really well. Yeah, he really, really recovered the raid, especially after not getting the funnel, I guess, a little bit wide enough, to where his Valks just completely went around the outside. And I'm sure he's freaking out at this point. I actually haven't <laughs> talked to him about it yet, but... He ended up doing just an amazing job but of... But way to keep the surgical going on the hogs, you know? Yeah, exactly. Especially when he knew that the Valks were going to be getting hit with the stuff down there. He used them as kind of a tank. And one, of the, one of the hardest things to do in COC is, you know, keep your head while, you, you know, a raid goes wrong. Because a lot of times, you know, it just doesn't come down to one mistake for a three-star. One mistake with a go good game plan, usually you can still get the three-star if you keep your head. Yeah, Absolutely. And he did a great job of triggering that double giant bomb with just that one hog up there. Yeah. yeah. He did He did, honestly a great job of him. I got to give him a shout out for saving the raid like this. He ended up having his Valks almost just be cleanup troops until the end when yeah. they ended up Take cutting care inside. Of the whole ring. Yeah, seriously. It was, it was, I was very impressed when I saw this attack and saw how he recovered it at the end. So I got to definitely give a shout out to Diesel for this. Or Dizzle. Yeah, but as you can see, they cut in there. And really take out those last few defenses. Like Valks yeah, has so high. much health. Yeah, there's the sure. queen just banging against another wall. Like, <laughs> yeah, leave it to the queen. <laughs> leave it to the queen to not do anything. Yeah, and then we're gonna end up showing one more attack here, and it's by Andrew, who absolutely just both of his attacks. I believe this war were just completely just trained. He just completely just rolled through it. It didn't even. <laughs> I it was I was impressed with how well he did by it. Um, he kind of goes with a unconventional uh, Lalo here. He cold bloods it, but then he's gonna end up taking out one of the air defenses with five hogs. And I thought that was—I always love seeing that. Like, love seeing people use their head and not just do just exactly what everyone else is doing. And yeah, I mean that's—it's always great to see that. But yeah, pretty. For the beginning part, he ends up cold blooding it. He's got a. Hound in the CC, which is always interesting to deal with as well. But yeah, as you can see down there at the bottom, he dropped that one giant, and the hogs start going in. A lot of them go to that air defense. All of them go to that air defense, actually, it looks like. Yeah, I, lo I love the old school hog style Laloon raids where you just, you know, take down an air defense with a couple hogs. Yeah, and it's awesome to see that people are still, you know, not just following the rest of what everyone else is doing. They're really doing, like, using their own head and... You know, he just did a great job here of recognizing this was a base that he could be doing that on. He did great planning with it. Everything really wanted perfectly. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so you know, another shout out to Andrew for doing great with that. Ends up only having two ADs to deal with and only using one golem. He ends up getting the trade for the second golem for the second AD with the five hogs and the one giant. So that was awesome for him. 
Great job being patient right here on that second rage. Yeah, Waiting definitely. Waiting until that hound is just about to pop. Yeah. yeah, so it can take care of all the enemy pups. And it's always weird when... Uh, I, he, not only did he use hogs and uh, the giant to take out a second ID, but he had to deal with the hound, which isn't always hard, but it's it's not something you're used to. You, it's something that comes out of the CC, and it's like, well, what do I do now? Especially if it's a first <laughs> attack. Yeah, a lot of people, you know, the hounds is a weird thing to deal with. I mean. Yeah, it really is. So that's pretty much it for this attack. Um, thank you guys for watching. I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed the double commentary here. Go ahead and give us a sub and uh, a thumbs up on the the video. If you got anything else to hear to say, Clack, go for it. Yeah, glad to be aboard and take it easy, guys.